today we're going to do a golf warm-up. This is going to be the long version. So I'd like you to sit in a chair or a ball, stability ball, and I want you to sit up very tall. Lift up your sternum. You're going to turn your head as far as you can to the right. We're going to get an assessment here. So see what you're looking at to the right. Remember that spot and then go to the left. And remember that spot. What we're going to do at the end of all the stretch is come back to this and see the amazing range of motion that you're going to get. So starting with the neck, cervical spine, we're going to do five repetitions. Turning to the right, one, center, two, center, nice and three. And you want to, each repetition, try to go just a little bit more, just a teeny bit more, and then one more, and then center, and then we're going to go the other direction. So it's very slow, very slow, easy. We're not pushing it like 80%. Your body likes to move very slowly. One more, and then center. Now we're going to add your thoracic spine turning, okay? So you're going to have your hands across your chest. This is actually starting from the base of your spine, your SI joint. We're going to be turning to the side. So it's like a straight jacket turn. We're going to do five of these, okay? Nice and slow. If you're having a hard time, you can hold your chin. So we do not want to turn your neck. We're turning from the base of your spine. And one more. And let's go the other direction. So nice and easy. You'll feel the, your sit bones grounded into your seat. We just try to get a little bit more. Each turn. And then one more. And then center. Now place your hands on your thighs. Now we're going to do a turn, okay? Right here, we're going to turn, slide back, look behind you, kind of like you're sitting in a car and you're turning back to look behind you. Don't have a rear view camera. Nice and slow, breathe, rotate. This one, you get to turn your neck. You get to turn, kind of pinch that shoulder blade. Lift up your posture. See, my movement never stops. It's just flowing. So your central nervous system likes slow movement. This is a dynamic warm-up, which means we don't stop. Nice and fluid. Let's do one more of these each side. And then last one. Good. Now I'm going to have you place your arms out to the side, just like this. And we're just going to um, reach your rib cage. So this is just stretching through your rib cage. Keep grounding your sit bones into the seat. So we don't want to lift up. We want to ground, reaching side to side, and two more, one and two, and then relax. Awesome. We are going to come back to this. So what I'd like for you to get is a yoga mat, a little pillow, and a golf club for our next portion. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start on your back here for our floor portion of the stretch. And I'm going to have you flex your feet, okay? You're flexing, dorsi flexing your feet. And we're going to do a couple knee pulls, okay? Flex in, reaching out. Flex in, reaching out. And if you'd like to, you can add your neck lifting up. So we're pulling your knee into your chest and breathe. Exhale, lengthen, reach. Let's do two more of these. One, and reach. This is all dynamic. Two, and then reach. Now for our last one, pull your right knee in. Right arm to the side, cross over stretch, flex that foot, turning, reaching to that outreached arm, both feet are flexed, and then come back up, other leg comes in, pulling in, turning, reaching, look at the opposite arm and stretching, back up, and then center. Now taking your arms to cactus arms, knees are bent through about... Um, as wide as your yoga mat, and we're going to just turn your knees right and left. Just a little windshield wiper, tick-tock, nice and slowly, nice and easy. Remember, 80%, we're just gently warming up your body. And do one more. Now hold it here, hold it to one side. You're going to take your foot and place it on top of your knee, Gently, gently pressing down, and you can lengthen your arms upward and stretch. Come back in, engage your core, lifting up, set that foot down. Let your knees go the other direction. Cross your foot over your knee. Hold, breathe. Extend your arms up and stretch. We're trying to open those hips so you get a great turn. Awesome finish. 
and then come back up, engage that core, and then lift. Bring your feet a little closer together, cross your right foot over your left knee, reach through, and then pull up here and stretch. So we're getting a little glute stretch right there through that piriformis. If you want a deeper stretch, you can place your hands on top of that shin, right up below your knee, and then pulling in and breathing, stretch, and then set that down. Other side, left over right, flex your foot, reach through the circle, pull up. Again, if you'd like a deeper stretch, you can pull right up here and stretching, breathe, exhale, and then relax. Okay, now I'm gonna have you get your pillow. Place, place it right here at the edge of your mat. You're gonna go ahead up to the top of the pillow. Okay, so I'm lying on my left side, knees are tucked up. Hand on top of knee, right hand on the forehead. Woe's me, okay? And we're gonna take a nice breath in. And then as you come back up, you exhale up nice and slowly, nice and slowly. Remember, we're just trying to increase that thoracic mobility so you get an awesome turn and finish in your game. Real easy. Now, we're only gonna do about four repetitions here. As you get to know this video a little bit more, you can do upwards to 10 to 12 repetitions, stretching, and then come back up. From here, we're gonna continue to roll over onto hands and knees. We'll do the other side in a moment, but we're gonna do a few cat cows. So round and tuck, and then looking up. Just a gentle lift. So round and tuck that pelvis under, posterior tilt. This is what happens at impact. Lengthen spine, looking up. Contract, scooping, exhale under, pushing into your hands, into your knees, into your feet. And then one more direction. Let's go one more under, run, one, one, contract, and extending out. Take your knees apart, reach your arms forward, and we're gonna go ahead and stretch back, stretch and then come all the way up and we'll go to the other side. So we're gonna take your pillow to the other side, lying on your side here, tuck up your knees, hand on top of the knees, hold in your abdominals, left hand at your forehead and we're gonna gently pull back and stretch. And then up, oh, nice and easy. And then pull back and stretch. So for my righty, right-handed golfers, this is your back swing, nice and slow. And you'll find one side might be tighter than the other, totally normal. The more you do this routine, however, you're gonna get a lot more mobility, trust me. And then come back up, and then we're gonna work our way up. Okay, now we're gonna come up onto your knees. You can move your pillow aside, grab your golf club, and we're going to lunge your left leg forward. Ground your golf club, lift up your posture, and we're gonna go ahead and drive forward, taking your knee right over your toe. We're warming up that hip flexor. We're moving on up here, nice and slowly, and reaching, stretching. And let's do one more of these. Now let's add some rotary with this. So place your arm up into a 90 degree angle. We're gonna rotate and turn, send it forward and reach like you're shaking a hand. Open up and turn, stretch, stretch, stretch. Lengthen and reach. Let's do one more of these. Rotate and turn, and then stretch and reach. And now pull it back, lengthen your leg out long, flex your toe up, lift up your posture, and just gently lean forward so you'll feel a nice little hammy stretch there. Breathe, and then come back up. And let's turn the other side. So let that leg go forward. We're gonna ground your golf club, and we're gonna send this forward and stretch. And then come back up. Lift up those abdominals, lift up your sternum. Remember, we gotta lift up nice and tall, right out the top of your head. Lunging forward, hip flexor, so as. Quadricep, lifting forward, and then center. Now lift up your arm. We're gonna rotate and turn, and then send it forward and stretch. And then up and turn, and send it forward and stretch. And you'll see each repetition, I get, I'm getting a little further and then reach it forward and stretch, and then come back, stretch this leg, flex, lifting up and then forward to get a little hamstring stretch, nice and easy, stretching, and then relax, and then come on up. All right, for our final couple stretches, we're gonna be standing. 
So holding your club right in front of you, we're gonna be lunging over to your left. We're gonna be turning. So we're getting an awesome dynamic stretching here through your lats, through the inner thigh of your supporting leg, the leg you're standing on, and this is the leg lunge bends. Couple more of those. And last one, and let's go to the other side. So lunge, keeping your left leg nice and straight, turning. And last two. Of course, you can always do more. Pause the video and do a few more. And then relax down. So I'm going to have you do a little hamstring stretch here, holding the club, pressing your hips back, leaning your body forward, stretch. In yoga, they call this monkey pose. So we're just stretching the back of the legs, lengthening your spine, sternum is out, hold those abdominals in, feel that nice stretch, breathing, come all the way up. And then one more, pressing back, lengthening your spine, stretch through those hamstrings, and then come all the way up. Okay, for the last stretch, what we're gonna do is called a stork turn, standing stork turn. So ideally, it would be great if you can brace yourself so we don't have to worry about the balance. So standing behind something supporting, we're gonna hold on, wrap your right foot around your ankle or behind your knee, whichever feels more comfortable to you, and we're gonna rotate the hips. So we wanna keep your shoulders super square. We're just rotating the pelvis, the hips. It's rotary, golf is rotary. So we really wanna loosen up your hips. So do about eight to 10 of these, keeping those shoulders nice and square. And then set that down, and then the other side. Wrap it around, and then rotary turn. Keeping those shoulders square, just turning those hips nice and smooth. And relax. Okay, we had a great warm up, and I'd like to see if you've got a little bit more mobility in your neck. So have a seat right where we did in the very beginning. We're going to turn your head as far as you can to the right. Whoa. Got a lot more. And center, and then the other direction. And center. Now we could have done that with the thoracic spine to see how much rotary turn you got. We'll do that in the next video, but I guarantee you, you definitely got a lot more mobility. So get out there and play golf.